Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alcee B, I'm the Shoe for Designs distributor in South Africa. Now, a lot of you already know that I've been away for two months. I've come to America and I've been visiting Glenda from Shoe for Designs and we've been busy recording new design and sew alongs for you. There's some new YouTube videos that's coming out as well. So we've been busy on the site, lots of videos that you've got to look forward to. Now, by the time you are watching this video, I'm already on the flight back to South Africa. I'm landing in South Africa on Friday and I think it's the 28th of October. And there's going to be a promotion running this weekend. There's going to be new products that I'm going to show you now as well. So be sure that you don't miss out on this. Look for all the new products for that Vellum promotion that we're doing as well. And make sure you get your orders in online because it's only going to be running for this last weekend in October. Now for my Sure for Designs customers, like I mentioned, there's our Tracing Vellum sale. It's our annual sale. And that is going to be on all my 20 meter rolls. It is the 20 meter by about 61 centimeter. And then I've also got my tracing sheets, which you get in the tubes. Now that promotion is really buy one, get one half price. Now to make it easier for you, I didn't add a code. I've already worked out the price. So the price that you see there already includes one at your regular price and then one at half price. So you can go ahead and place your order and stock up on your tracing vellum as well. Then also for my customers that missed out on the launch that we did for the Schurfer Designs Clear Stylus, I'm bringing some back with me. So we do have our clear stylus that's going to be back in stock as well as the new narrow seam buddy. Now the narrow seam buddy, I'm sure you've seen videos on it already on the Schurfer Designs channel that is giving you a narrower seam allowance. And that is really excellent. That is what we need when we sometimes work with our knit fabrics and we want to go straight to the overlocker or our serger to just go and sew it immediately on, that, um, on our serger. Now, another item that's coming back, I'm only bringing limited because it is really bulky, is our line drafter. So there will be a couple of line drafters back in stock. And what is so great about this line drafter is the handle that we have. So when we are designing our patterns, I've got a really steady grip on my ruler. Again, it's got our one and a half centimeter seam allowance, which is actually drawn in a pink line. I do have my bias lines as well. So if I am designing anything and I want to cut it on the bias. I've got my angles on there as well. So really, really a great add-on if you are designing your own patterns. Now, for all the other regular products for my hubby that I always try and bring in for us, there's a couple of new items there as well. So this is the first part of what's coming in. I am going to see if I can get one last order in this year from one of my other suppliers as well. Um, as you know, most of my hubby, I do try and source internationally so that we've got something different than what is just in our regular fabric stores that we have. Now, first off, I want to show you the curve runner. Now, I've been looking for this item for such a long time. And while I'm visiting here, I actually found the lady that manufactures the curve runner in America. And this is perfect for us when we are working with our patterns. If we want to go and measure those curves, if we want to go and measure the neckline or a collar, um, even if you've got a ready to wear item and you just want to lay it out and just go measure that neckline because you want to bring it back onto your pattern that you have. So that is really uh, like a little rolling measuring tape if I can put it that way. Now the one that I've got is in um, centimeters and it comes in 20 centimeters. For now I've just brought in the 20 centimeters. I will see next year if I can get the slightly bigger wheel for us. But really really very easy to work. I'm going to link a video for you at the bottom in my, my description box as well so that you can see how you work it. But really what you do where the zero is you go and put it on the edge and you are just going to roll this along your line on your pattern and it's going to measure 20 centimeters and if it's longer than 20 centimeters you just see where it ends then with the next rotation of that wheel and just add the two together but an excellent way for us to go and measure that cap measure that arm hole make sure that we have enough ease now also with the curve runner and you can see it is it's got the curve runner name on there this is actually a patented product um, they do give us a little rubberized 
Um, I always want to say it's just like a cover that we can put onto our handle. Just want to get it on all the way. And what it does, it just gives me a better grip when I am working with my curve runner as well. So that is one of the items that I've been dying to get into South Africa for us. And I'm not even going to take that off. I'm just going to put it aside. So that was the first item that we have. Another item that I absolutely love that I got for you is a buttonhole cutter. It's a set and I'm going to open it up. It actually looks like this. I will be um, doing, when I'm back in South Africa, if there's still stock left um, of this, because I know you guys are gonna jump at getting this, I will definitely make sure of doing a video um, just to show how it works. But what I love about this set that we are getting, and I'm going to just show like this, I know you can't see it, but I will put a photo in as well. It doesn't just come with the cutter, it actually comes with an eyelet punch as well. Now sometimes what we have, we've got our keyhole buttonholes that we are going to do, and that circular edge, we don't want to cut all the way through to there just in a straight line. We do want to punch out that keyhole section as well. Also, a lot of our sewing machines machines do have, um, I want to say almost like a, um, a eyelet stitch, I had to think for a minute there. It's got an eyelet stitch on some of our machines. So you can really go and do eyelets as well. You can punch out the eyelet with this. So it is the two of these and then it comes with a wooden block as well. And the wooden block is what we're going to use to cut our buttonhole and also to punch out that eyelet section. This one comes in this little, almost like just like a hard plastic case. So I think it's going to be easy to just store it in there as well. So you know, everything is staying together. Now that again, I think we used to get these, or we can still get the cutters, but without the additional eyelet cutter, without that wooden block. So I thought this was really a great find when I saw that. Another item that I also, but this is just limited stock, is a Sasha collection, and this is specifically for dressmakers. It says it makes great bindings and trims for dressmaking. Um, so it's got different sizes in, so we can go and make a quarter inch, uh, um, which is our six millimeter, a half an inch, which is going to be our 1.3 centimeters. Um, it's got a three quarter inch and a one inch. I've just got to go see exactly what the three quarter inch is. I think that is going to be about two centimeters. I've got to remember now I'm working in inches and in metric and obviously our one inch which is going to give us a two and a half centimeter strip and that is perfect for I would say quilters can use it as well but it's going to be perfect if we are doing necklines and we want to do binding on the necklines anything like that. So this one specifically with the sizes is for our dressmaking and it does specify for dressmaking. That was one of our other ones that I I thought would be a great add-on. Then I've also found, and I'm just looking for the bigger one. Now this is a magnetic pin cup and I've got it in two sizes for us. So the one size, the smaller one, is for our pins that is about 36 millimeters or our one and a half inches. And then I've got the bigger one, which is for our pins, which have got maybe that flat yellow head on it that the quilt is using, you know, the flower head. So this is a slightly bigger one. Online on my web store as well, I've added a video. So please go and have a look at the video. But this is so, so nice for traveling. If you're going to classes or you're traveling because your pins are in here, you're closing it with the lid as well. And if you get to your class and you want to start working, all you have to do is you put this in there, it pushes your pin, little magnetic pin cap, it pushes it up and your pins are standing up straight. So no more catching your fingers on the sharp ends of the pins. You can literally just go and grab the, um, the head of the pin. And once you're done again, all you do is you close it up because now the cup drops down a little bit so that I can go and I can just go and close this up. Now that one, as I said, has come in two sizes for you. So that was also something that I thought, thought is really a nice add-on for us. And I'm saying add-ons because we've had the same haberdashery um, that we always use and I wanted to find something a little bit different for us, especially now for Christmas. Now this one is just a magnetic pin wand. 
and this is perfect if your pins fall on the floor it is great for picking up those straight you know those straight pins it says needles or any metallic thing you all you have to do is go with your wand and just move it over the area it picks up all of the pins or any magnetic items that you have especially sometimes when we drop it on a carpet I know that can be quite an issue so we've got that then from Dritz I saw this little bobbin boat and I thought you know what that is actually nice for some of us because if you put the bobbin in this bobbin boat as well the thread doesn't unravel it actually keeps it in place for you so and it holds they say 10 of your regular bobbins in there now that is not our Benina machines with that really bigger um, bobbins that we have this is for your regular bobbins that we use for our machines and also again like they say small enough to keep next to your sewing machine or take to a class as well you don't have to carry that big bobbin box with just put your bobbins in here and it saves you a lot of space then my next item that I wanted to show you is our seam guide from Clover. It's the ISO for fun range that they have. And this I think I have to open to show it to you. Now this is one of the Nancy Zeman products. And what I thought is really nice about this one is that it is a slightly higher, uh, it is slightly higher on the side. Oops, this is really in there i'm opening this this one of these are definitely going to be mine so it does have a bigger um how can i say it's slightly higher so it's really nice also when we are working with our thicker fabrics and we've also got curves on it so if i do put it down i've got curves so anything that i've got to run into a curve perfect for top stitching perfect for sewing straight and again it's got a sticky bottom um, it's not uh, like a glue or a magnet so this has really just got a bit of a sticky bottom section which you can place and it keeps it firmly in place for you if you find that that adhesive isn't clinging so much to the machine anymore all you have to do is wash it it becomes sticky again and we can just put it down again on our sewing um, on the stitch plate but one thing that really drew me to it is this little grit and I know we can't see this and I'm going to see if I've got something to put this grit on otherwise I'm going to have to just do a little bit of a I'll just take a photo I think but when we are using this grit it, it gives me exactly lines for a quarter of an inch which is our six millimeter again our 1.3 centimeters half a, which is half an inch and then our three quarters so it's got all of these lines and it's got little holes in there so I can literally bring my needle down see where the needle position is see where the grit line is and it's going to help me to get accurate seams when I'm sewing because this is now used to make sure that wherever I've got my, uh, my needle is in there wherever I'm going to place this little um, guide is going to be then exactly on the right position so again another I think uh, add-on or must-have that we all need now and I think let's just look at all the new products and then I'll talk about what I've repeated now this is called our seams flat pressing bar now we all know about clappers and in South Africa we really do battle to get those clappers but what I love about this seam flat pressing bar now it is a solid wood base it's covered with a wool fabric and you open up your seams on this and you press it and I must tell you I tested it I tried it um, it feels like you almost don't need a clapper afterwards because as soon as you press on this hard wood with the wool that seam just opens up you get a flat seam and also the best is that your fabric next to that seam is not going to be affected because sometimes we do get a fabric and as soon as we press it you almost get that imprint of the the seam allowance that you can see on there so this is perfect and this is for our dressmakers and for our quilters the easy way to get perfect flat seams and um what I, and I'm, I'm just thinking here guys I'm really thinking with this wooden core I, I'll, I'm really going to just pick it up if I need to use a clap I can just pick it up and I can just go press it on that seam as well not necessarily just go and press over it um, again as well so for me this was really a must have I thought we all needed one of this now this is really limited stock because I am testing it I wanted your feedback on it to see how you actually like this um, and then I can bring some more in for us 
then some repeats that I'm now doing. Now, as a repeat, my Wonder Grip Thimbles was very, very popular. A lot of you have asked for this. So I've got some more of this um, thimble for us. And it, it's so nice because it is soft and flexible. With my arthritis, I do like it because it's rubberized. It's not hurting my finger. It's a soft rubber. And it is really a one size fits all because again, being a soft rubber, it just stretches onto your finger. And because you've got the part for your thumb and also your finger I can push through with my thumb and then I've got the grip to pull it through a very very nice tool to have or must have in your sewing room then for um, a scissor the Tula pink you guys have been phoning me you've been emailing me so I at last I found stock again they were out of stock for quite a while so we have the small little duckbill scissor of Tula pink if you want this, I'm going to tell you, don't wait. Place your order. I've got some stock that I'm bringing in, but I know they're going to fly off the shelves again. But this one is a four inch. I use it all the time when I'm sewing. I love trimming my, um, you know, if I'm doing my grading of my seams, um, anything like that, I go to this little um, scissor. Perfect to have. And then this one I brought in a while ago, but I never did a video to tell you guys about this. This is the thermal thimbles. Now, when I'm sewing and I am literally pressing my fingers are always wanting to open those seams and I'm forever getting a burst of steam and I'm burning my fingers so I've started using this this is our thermal finger um, thimbles it goes on these three fingers and I'm telling you it protects your fingers so when I am busy with my pressing of my seams because I do press as I go I don't ever miss a seam um, I know I can open up I can fiddle with that seam get it nice and flat and if there's a burst of steam or I'm touching my finger I'm not burning myself so you can see if I buy the stuff that I know I love using and I really hope that you guys are going to love using it I think that is everything really that I wanted to show you for now as I said I'm hoping to get one more shipment in before Christmas but on these things don't lose out I do have limited stock that I am bringing in because it's all brand new I wanted to first see your response now um, I think there's one more thing that I had to mention oh yes the advent calendar our sewing advent calendar for this year i will be launching the sewing advent calendar in the next two weeks um, as soon as i'm back in south africa i just want to start putting it together so that i can just give you guys a price on it but i have really gone out of my way to find new stock for us so that i don't repeat what was in last year's boxes so if you already bought the box last year you can really know that when you're buying it this year brand new stuff, brand new project project included, um, some really nice goodies that I'm adding in there for you. A little of things that you will not be expecting as well. I'm not going to give it away. I'm not going to tell you what is in there, but there's a couple of surprises that I'm also bringing from the US that I found here locally. And I thought, oh, I have to just bring it to you guys. And that is not part of what I'm showing you here that is going into your advent calendar boxes. So I hope that you are going to go to my online store now, that you are going to get shopping. Make sure you stock up on your vellum, get some of these new goodies for yourself. And those of you that missed out on the previous launch of our clear stylus, make sure that you add that to your basket as well. And then I think the last thing, because I'm only landing in South Africa on Friday, orders will only start going out from next week, Monday. But I will be back on the go, back to my design and sew alongs, my regular design and sew alongs, regular YouTube videos again. So lots of plans, lots of ideas. And I hope that you're going to be joining me for the rest of this year. Um, let's get creative, let's get sewing and just enjoy our hobby that we have.